Welcome back. We are right into it. The topic is love. And love comes in many forms. But this particular one is between a beautiful couple, a young couple who are parents, who are husband and wife. And it's so refreshing to see, you know, young people coming into saying, hey, we need to be a family, stick around. And their story is that of vulnerability, honesty, and pure bliss. So, um, <laughs> Jackie, yeah. you you know, you, you go and confess and mm. decide, God, just want more chance. <laughs> but God is like, oh, you have no idea what I have yeah, <laughs> planned I have for stuff. you. Yeah. And anyway, uh, let me just, allow me to say this. I, I look at the pattern and I think the previous conversation I was having is about the same thing. Yeah. When your person is meant to be your person, you will be so surprised. You'll meet somehow. Yeah. So even you trying maybe to even hook him up with your friends and all mm. that, you were introducing him to the circle. Yeah. And I can imagine now they, you know, they were, they're all comfortable knowing who he is yeah. and that, you know, comfort. Mm. Great. So rugby guy or this nice guy? Mm. Good boys are winning. <laughs> <laughs> Good boys are winning. Yeah. So you find out uh, your expectant. Yes. Jason, how did you receive the news? How was it for you? So for me, it came as a big, big surprise. Yeah. And she actually called me yeah. while I was in, I was in my, in my third year at that time. Oh so she called me and told me, I actually told her to go and test. Yes. And then she went and bought the pregnancy yes. kit and then she went and tested. Yes. So I was still in class when she, so she called me while I was still in class. Mm. So I didn't pick up her call at mm. first. Mm. So when she called me later on or um, after some few hours, mm. now that's when she I think you had even texted me, yeah. mm. but I didn't see the text until after. Wow. So now after seeing the text, I was like, I don't even know what to say. Um, so, you know, being in, in, in campus, you yeah. don't have a job, you don't have money. How are you going to tell your parents about all this? Yeah. So there was a lot going mm. through my mind at that mm. time. Mm. But um, so I think we ca I called her and mm. I think I told her that, um, are you sure? <laughs> of course. Why do guys ask that? I have do <laughs> Why do they ask that? How did it happen? You know how I it know, happened. I know how it happened, but you want to you want to have that second like is it really happen is this really happening? Yeah. Yeah. So even had to tell her we need to go and test again. Yeah, so yeah. we'll come maybe on during the weekend mm -hmm. we'll go to um mm -hmm you know, a chemist, yes. and then we'll go and test it and see if oh. it's correct. Because maybe the kid had a problem. I was, I was trying to look for... You were trying for to, yeah? <laughs> yeah? Like there must be something. There must be I, something. I know that feeling. Yeah. yeah. So we went on, it was on a Saturday. Uh, Saturday. Mm -hmm. We went to a chemist and then she was tested. She tested and then it came positive. Mm. So um, one of the things um, the, the, the guy told us is, mm. it, do you know there's an option? You can't remove this. Yeah. And... I won't lie, at first I thought about it. <laughs> yeah. But now after mm. leaving, now you had to, to talk with her and decide, mm. okay, now what do you want to do? How are you going to tell this to our parents? Because mm. this is something that is really big. Mm. And we're still in, in, yeah, in, in campus, cool, it's, yeah. it's a lot. Mm. So we decided um, we can do this. Because mm. I'm still in, in, in high school, in campus. I can do, what I can do is whatever money I'm getting, mm. we can actually start saving up. Yeah. And then uh, now be able to use that money to get whatever is required for the mm. for the baby, mm. and that's what we did. But mm. what we decided, um, I'll be the first to tell my parents, mm. and then mm. after I tell them, then she'll go next and telling her. Mm. Yeah. yeah. So um, I went to my mom. Mm -hmm. um, I think I waited for <laughs> for a week or for a few days before yeah. I actually told her. Yeah. So I approached her and told her this is what has happened, mm -hmm. and uh, this is the, this is this is the way things are right now, mm. and. To be honest, she mm. was just quiet. Mm. She didn't talk to me at that mm. at, at, at Goodness, first. Yeah. But then she said, "Okay, now that this has happened, mm. then what else can we do? Yeah. You just have to live mm. with what you mm. have." Mm. So I feel like our parents were very supportive because even mm. for her parents, yeah. they're also very good in taking up the not mm. good, but mm. I think the dad also was quiet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 But mm -hmm. I, I think they took the news not the way we expected them to. Yeah. They really supported us in um, the whole journey, and mm -hmm. that's something we were really grateful for. Mm -hmm. And even as I continued studying, yes. one of the things we used to do is, as I mentioned, is we used to save up money. Mm -hmm. So even when the baby was coming, mm -hmm. we had already bought a few things. Mm -hmm. And one thing that we also realized is God comes in so many ways. Because mm -hmm. people used to come yeah. and bring things for us, and mm -hmm. some of the things we actually didn't have or hadn't bought. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you see that God came through for us. Yeah. And also, us saving this mm. money and our parents' support, mm. we were able to pull mm. through through mm. the whole. Oh, 
the old journey. It's beautiful when yeah. I think about it. I, I mean, I may be sitting here and um, I can tell you for a fact, even me, when I found out I was expecting my firstborn child, I just cleared campus, I was getting into Kenya School of Law. Mm. So I'm looking at this mathematics, I'm like, <laughs> in total, mm -hmm. how many? And so it's not a cheap school, the yeah. KSL is not cheap, yeah. it's the, one of the toughest mm. programs. Yeah. Uh, but I did think about it. Mm. Uh, my, me and my then partner were like, how are we just, you know? And so never feel guilty about mm. it. It's yeah. human reaction, yeah. you know? And uh, here we are, you mm. know, happy ending. Yeah. Mm. Hey, vulnerability, why yeah. hide? Why hide behind shiny things? Mm. Why else things are the way they are? Yeah. Yeah. Imperfectly perfect, mm. yeah. great. Um, your parents, yeah. they find out, <laughs> then baby comes, mm. and now, of course, now you move on to the next stage. Yeah. How did you know that, you know, or rather, what, what motivated you? Although I would say more of Jason, mm -hmm. but maybe touch uh, uh, upon that, Kajan, you know, between then and now. Mm. The Composing pregnancy yourself. Or, uh, after. The, the after, the after oh, the, the after. pregnancy, yes. Um. <laughs> So it has happened, um, um, I've given birth and now I have a baby girl. Mm. So what, um, I just felt like I want her to be, to grow into mm. a good girl. Mm. I want her to grow and be proud of her mom. Yeah. That she won't find her mom at the same point she was before. Very so true. I changed my ways, mm. I did my best mm. to be the best version of myself. Mm. The, I knew that the habits that she'll come and find me doing, mm. she will take them up. Yeah. Like I will not just tell her, okay, this is what you're supposed to do and I'm yeah. doing different. I so I, I did my best mm -hmm. in that. Mm -hmm. I was able to look for a job now after I gave birth, mm -hmm. um, I had, I had deferred now my education because yes, now yes. I was pregnant. Yes. So after my baby was like two weeks, I went back to school, I finished my exams. Oh. At that time I was doing hospitality, so yeah. it was only for two yes, years. Yes. So I finished. Mm -hmm. After that I went for my internship mm -hmm. in Westlands. Mm -hmm. That time I was leaving my child with my mom. Then I now I breast, yes, I, I pump the milk mm -hmm. and then I leave it to my mom. Mm -hmm. At least that time my mom was at home, so she yes, helped me raise yes, the yes, child. Yes, yes. And yeah, so I looked for a job. I started off as a waitress in Kikuyu, so mm -hmm. I used to go very early in the morning come back very uh, very late, late at, at night, night yeah. and that time you see i have milk that i'm supposed to give my baby so and then mm. that place that we used to work we were not even lunch mm. so you can imagine i was very hungry i have milk i'm supposed to give my baby in the evening it was very devastating mm. at that time he was still in campus so yeah. maybe the money that he would get maybe mm. he used to sacrifice his lunch mm. money and mm. send me mm. and now we would meet now maybe on sundays mm. Yeah, and also one thing that I loved about him was that mm -hmm. even after we got pregnant mm -hmm. and all, mm -hmm. he was able to call my dad and he told him he's going to take responsibility. Wow. Which is something that I thought was uh -huh. very brave, because yes. not many men do that. No. Many just no. run away and they true, don't take responsibility. True, true, yeah. And then even after I gave birth, mm -hmm. he came to see the baby and asked my dad, okay, right now I cannot be able to live with your daughter, but I would want to to my daughter to know me. So is it possible for me to come and see the baby? My and, not that's, and in Kikuyu tradition, mm. men are not supposed mm -hmm. to come and see their kids mm -hmm. and you've not yeah, married the household. woman. Yes, yeah. yes. So I thank God for my dad that he allowed him and mm. he was able to now be in my daughter's life mm. and she knows she's known him. Mm. Even though we lived separately mm. for those four years, mm. she knew him mm. and he did his best even after he finished uh, uh, his, um, ed, yeah, his yeah. university mm. and all that mm. and yeah. Mm. So it was not easy, but I'm glad that we got to where we are right mm. now. Mm. And yeah, that is so <laughs> incredible. Yeah. You guys don't even understand how much you are inspiring so many young people out there. Mm. And you're reflecting on both ends. Yeah. Guys, if you can do it the right way, mm. if it happens, this is what you do. Stick it out. Yeah. And also for parents, because mm. a lot of parents castigate. And if you look even at this generation of uh, you know the so-called deadbeats. Mm. Yeah. Either the parents enable them, or they don't care. Mm. Yeah. You know, mm. because it's about hey, mm. I don't care. You, you know, there's a lot that yeah. goes on, and it's so refreshing again to see parents who join hands. Yeah. And uh, I'm sure right now they're so proud of you too mm. because yeah, you decided right. to do things the right yeah. way. Yeah. Let's talk about the wedding. <laughs> My favorite part. How did it come about? How did you propose? <laughs> you know, just a short version. Okay, so how it came about, mm -hmm. um, allow me to say this, yeah. <laughs> but we've, we had dated for a very long yes. time and nothing seemed to work for yes. us, like we had this dream to get married mm. one day, yeah. 
but every time we felt we were going one step, we will be pushed back. Because there's a time I got a job, yeah. and then we thought things are working this out for us. Yeah. Yeah. Then a few, uh, one month later, yeah. I lost my job, and we had already bought everything Money for, for the house. For the so house. I had kept things in, <laughs> in our house and him his Some house. Some things in our house. Yeah. Yeah. So it, that brought us, it pulled us back mm -hmm. uh, to maybe starting again from mm -hmm. step one. Mm -hmm. So um, we had this dream to get married, yes. and it always, we always felt like something is, mm -hmm. is, is pulling us back. Mm -hmm. So one thing she told me is, mm -hmm. just propose to me. I want to, because if every time we plan things, they don't work. Mm. Just propose, yes. and then we we'll see how things will go from there. Goodness, yeah. So uh, I went one night. Uh, she was she was still working yeah. um, at her hotel. Yeah. So we met. I asked mm. her, "Can we meet?" We met, and then uh, I told I told her, "Let's just take a walk, you know, um, before you go to work." Mm. So we started walking, and that's how I did it. So um, I took <laughs> out a ring. Yeah, <laughs> I fell on one knee <laughs> and proposed. For two seconds, yeah. <laughs> and proposed to her. <laughs> yeah, and <laughs> like it was yeah. on the side of the road. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> love it. Let me tell you, mm. every story like that, it, it's it's beautiful in yeah. its own way. Yeah. You see, humble beginnings, mm. yes. humble True. beginnings, yeah. and mm. here you are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So um, I I, uh, I put the ring on her, and mm. she was so excited. She mm. cried, and oh. the rest is history. <laughs> <laughs> but um, it was really it was a really nice moment mm. for us because mm. uh, we felt like we're just trying this out because you don't know if we're really getting married exactly. soon. Yeah. But this is one step that we can take, I and know. then everything else will flow. Mm. And this was in September 2022. Mm. Surprisingly, four five four five months later, mm. that's when we did our wedding, mm. and things just flowed because um, our parents were really supportive oh, in all this. Nice, what yeah. we had planned, okay, we mm. had said we had told each other that because mm. things aren't working out, yeah. let's just do a church wedding yes. with just us yes. and our best couple yes, and yes. our parents. Yes. But then um, we had planned, we did everything, we talked to the pastor. The mm. pastor said it's okay. Mm. Then now when it came to now the day mm. of us doing the wedding, mm. actually we had to go and. Uh, Take uh, you, you have to go to the AG to actually yes, yes, it's true, to, to book a day, day and everything. That, yeah. So the day we booked for the for the for the interview, mm -hmm. it was actually not available. So we had booked that we'll do an interview on a specific date, mm -hmm. so that the wedding can be on a specific ah, date. Okay, okay. But then when we went to the AG, we were told this date is already taken, mm. so we can only do it like after your date you had planned for your wedding. Mm. So for us, it felt like again this is now mm. things going yeah. against us. <laughs> yeah. Things are not working out. Yeah. But then uh, we went and talked to our parents and said, this is what we had planned to do. Mm. And they told us, no, you guys can just decide to go mm -hmm. and do a wedding by yourselves. Mm. We would want to support you guys. Yes. So whatever you guys want, mm -hmm. we'll be able to support mm. you. If uh, the wedding is, so we did a wedding in January, mm. uh, January 28th. Oh. So they, book, they did everything, like in terms of finances and Every, almost everything. Mm. I think the things we did is the rings and the other yeah, things, but yeah. they supported us all through. Yeah. And we really thank God for this because mm. it's not easy, especially mm. for even uh, her mm. side of the family to mm. actually come mm. in and mm. also mm. support mm. us. Yeah, yeah. I felt it was really something big mm. for yeah. us. Mm. So uh, we came to the wedding, we did mm. our wedding, and it was amazing. Yeah, it's yeah. <laughs> so incredible. And mm. I see you just celebrated your first yeah, anniversary. Yeah. 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 yeah, how how has it been taking you? Mm. Wow. How do you feel, and how you know, and also you can loop in your <laughs> baby girl like that family unit mm. that you know was separated mm. for so long, and yeah. then uh, you're together. Mm. How's that for you? It's good. It has been. It was a dream of mine for yeah. so long. Yeah. You know, uh, there's this thing of you know you have a boyfriend. Yeah. He's the father of your child, yeah. but you're living with your child. So everyone, even in church, they used to think uh, you're a single mom. There's yes. no one who's supporting you. Yeah. You know. Yeah. So even even men used to come and tell me, "Baby, I'll marry you and take care of your child." They Why do you even do that? I don't know. Because they think we are desperate. <laughs> no. That's it. I yeah. mean, honestly, sorry, sorry to cut you short, it's but okay. this is something I was thinking about. Mm. The number of times people come and tell me, "I'm going to adopt your kids." Mm -hmm. Just marry me, mm -hmm. and yeah. I'm like, "Hello, they have a father. Mm -hmm. uh, they are okay. Me, I'm the one in need." Yeah, yeah. 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 Come on, this uh, <laughs> <laughs> something like oh. So yeah, it was very <gasps> devastating for me because yes. I felt like things mm -hmm. are not working mm -hmm. out for us. Mm -hmm. I even got to a place where I told him, "Okay, I don't know if you are meant to be," because mm -hmm. everything used to like oh, you see, we've yeah. already bought things. Yeah. I have things in the house one year old. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I even my dad used to keep asking me, Shiro, <laughs> 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 because I keep telling him, this yeah. is the guy I want. Yeah. Yes. 
and I want him to marry me. But you see, things are not working out. Mm -hmm. He gets a job, he loses yeah. it. So even before he proposed, mm -hmm. he had got a data entry job. He used to have like big stacks oh of paper. Yeah. Yeah. And then he put those information in the laptop, and then he's getting paid. Yeah. He was, you are getting, I was paid, getting two paid two bob per sheet. Perform. So it wasn't even enough <laughs> for us to actually move out, but we are yeah. really oh focused yeah. into it. And that's the money he saved to buy a ring for me. So I remember that time oh. I told him, okay, I don't want a big, sp for him he wanted something big, he wanted many people there to propose, propose to me, mm. but I told him, just get the ring, I don't care how it is. I used to send him pictures <laughs> of rings. <laughs> <laughs> well, since we started dating, he used to know the type of ring I wanted. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, that's how it happened. And I can say that when, when he made that step of proposing, mm. that's when now things started. It's like when you plant something yes. and now you have to yes. now get the seed out of it. Yes, yeah. stepping yeah. into the right direction. Yeah. And I think it's the same conversation I was having with the previous couple. Mm. And it's the same exact story. Yeah. They just decided, let's get married. Mm. And one common thing is sometimes a proposal shouldn't be a surprise out of nowhere mm. oh yeah. my goodness it's a discussion mm. and i love how that is actually an actual thing that happens yeah. because when with a with a person even from the very beginning mm. to establish where are we going yeah. is it a marriage is it just messing around mm. is it friendship just uh, no and then once you decide to do that one right thing yeah. which is um uh uh, you know, bringing that union before God, mm. yeah. things just That's open up. Yeah, yeah? Mm. great. So, um, in your own words, Jason, mm -hmm. talk to young men out there, mm. really. Talk to them, encourage them, teach them your ways, because, mm. hey, you are a master. <laughs> teach them your ways. <laughs> I'm not a master, I'm, I'm <laughs> heading there. But <laughs> <laughs> one thing I can say is um, yes. social media has. Um, so much pressure and we've mm. experienced this together mm. where we find people are doing things things are working out for them and you start questioning yourself and asking yourself why is it that my things are not working out why is mm. it that my life is not going the way i expect it to be mm. to go mm. uh, so one thing we realized is everything you have to leave it to god and everything else will follow mm. because even for this marriage we had thought we had planned for a marriage for like three four years wow. and it came to be just um last year yeah so trust the process don't mm. Uh, accept or don't um, be affected by what's happening on social media. Mm. Be yourself and let God mm. take you through everything, every single step that you need. Yeah. So that's one um, thing I can say. Great. Uh, yeah. One common factor again, over and over again, be, let God be the yes. center yeah. of it all. Mm. I love it. Um, uh, could you tell us about your content creation? Mm. Where can it be found? What yeah. do you create? Uh, mm. hey, so when I started that YouTube channel, I started with advising young girls. Yeah. So after that, I told him, okay, join this channel. Let's be a channel, yeah. <laughs> you know. Yeah. So, so our channel was called the JJs, but because of living separately. So I was right. Yeah. Right. Oh my <laughs> <goodness. laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. So because of living separately, we were not able to be consistent. So mm. we got to a place where mm. we get bored of each other. Yeah. Now yeah. we decide we're not going to do YouTube mm. anymore. Mm. It was so hard for us. Mm. So now after we got married, we decided to do YouTube again. Mm. But then now for him, because of his cra crazy schedule mm. and for me I'm free but then mm. I had to quit my job after I got Jeez, married because yes. now the night shifts and all mm. and then mm. I'm starting a new family mm. Mm. it was hard for me so I was like yeah. we decided he's going to be continue working mm -hmm. and then for me I'm going to quit my job and mm. be a mm. whole mm. like a housewife mm. or stay at home mm. mom mm. and also because I had a dream of doing makeup mm. I went now for classes yeah, after yes and yeah, that's what I've been doing now afterwards. Mm -hmm. So um, after we, our oh, channel could not work out even <laughs> after marriage. Yeah. I decided to open my own channel last year in August. Uh -huh. Yeah, about lifestyle, beauty, and inspiration. So I used to, sh I share uh, what I do at home. Mm -hmm. My channel is called Jackinganga K. Jackinganga K. Yes, Jackinganga K. Yes. And right now I'm at 615 subscribers. I'm growing yes. compared to now our channel. Yes. Our channel used to grow so slowly. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so, mm -hmm. and I'm, I'm grateful for this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, being a wife is good. Yes. And one thing I'd like to share is yes. that marriage yes. is not an exam. That is one thing I've come to notice. Mm. Marriage is not an exam. So mm. no matter how, like for me, I used to think now because mm. I've dated him for so long mm -hmm. that now I have done all the revision that is needed. I'm going to ace this yeah. marriage, you know, yes. that everything is going to work out, but it is not. So you enter into a marriage like a new student mm -hmm. in a new school and mm -hmm. you, have you have to, to learn, learn every day. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that is what I have learned so far. We're mm -hmm. learning to know each other. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 
it has not been easy, but also even getting into marriage with a four-year-old who's starting school. Mm -hmm. So you have to put her needs first before your own. Of course, yeah. yes. So for us, you, found, you find that even now that we got married, we have not grown so much like in terms even of material things yes. because we're focusing more on her school, yes. making sure she goes to a good school, mm -hmm. she has everything that mm -hmm. she needs. Mm -hmm. And yeah, that's how now, so now for, now for my channel, I usually share now my lifestyle, mm. what I do, mm -hmm. and all that. That's incredible. Yes. Jason, we all know a man who was, is, is in the family unit to provide, protect, mm. to profess. Mm. Um, what do you envision for the JJs? Mm. Like um, how... You know, as a young couple, mm. like what are these things you're looking for? To mm. in another five years, you know, we might come to for a follow up. <laughs> yeah, when uh, you know yeah. your, your baby girl has a little sister or brother, yeah. mm -hmm. no pressure. Yeah. But uh, how do you envision mm. now the next phase of your lives? Um, so this is a discussion we've had mm. with her. Mm -hmm. um, Sometimes you feel like some things are too big, but for us, we normally say nothing mm. is too big. Mm. So we've always had this desire that we're going to have land in the mm. next, um, maybe the next five years. Yeah. We want to build this family. Mm -hmm. um, she's always said she wants five kids. Mm. So Good for you. I, I don't know if that's possible Good in the next you. five years. But yes. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and also, um, you know, grow also in God, because we also yeah. realize that putting God in the center of the marriage is also something mm. very important. Mm. Because um, just to maybe go back, we've yeah had situations where we were really down, down, oh. and any time we were in that situation, mm. God always came through mm. in yes. a way that we couldn't even explain, yes. and we came to realize that putting God at the center of it is, like everything else will it's just flow. Everything. So mm -hmm. for us, it's just to continue growing in God, mm. continue um, instilling the good values in our children, mm. and also our love to continue growing in, mm. in this. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> this show. Uh, if, if we continue to <laughs> might, eh, people might start mm. mopping. Yeah. yeah, so um, for you, Jackie, yeah. again, uh, I think this is what I didn't ask you. Could you talk to young girls? Again, you're in such a good position to understand what's happening, kwa grao, yeah. then social media. Mm. Um, and like Jason said, you know, young men, you know, stay, stay here. Talk to the girls, just give them a word of, ad of advice in your position, like what you do on yeah. an everyday year. Okay, mm -hmm. so one thing I didn't share, and yeah. I know this is what young girls do because mm -hmm. I've been there. Mm -hmm. uh, before I got pregnant, mm -hmm. I had taken P2. So mm -hmm. I had gone to a chemist, oh, bought P2 because yeah. I know we've messed. Yeah. And unfortunately, I didn't get the one, I had drunk before for uh -huh. 100 shillings. Yes. I didn't find that one for 100, I got for 150. Uh -huh. So because I was desperate, I said, mm -hmm. let me just buy this one. Imagine it didn't work, it, it, it backfired on me. Oh. And I think that's how young girls, you might find yourself, at <laughs> so okay, P2, that's it. If yeah. God has decided your child is going to come, imagine it's going to come. Yes. So the decisions that you make, know yeah. that. Yeah. they are going to have repercussions yeah. and they have consequences and mm. how you live your life how do you mm. want your child to actually perceive you yeah. and if you look at the 10 years that are going to come what type of person do you want to be because you don't remain young forever exactly. you need to have goals mm. and even visions mm. and also know the type of man you want write yes. it down write down all the qualities you want in a man mm. and pray about it because god is going to give you that man yeah. that you, you yeah. want yeah. and also one another thing is have fear of God. Mm -hmm. There's something. There's a certain video I shared that mm -hmm. um, if you don't, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. wisdom so yes. if you don't fear God, you're not wise. You're foolish. It's so true. meaning all the decisions you're going to be making, mm -hmm. they're going to be foolish because you don't fear God. Exactly. That's why you find even when people cheat and all that, they cheat because they don't have the fear of God. Yes. God, as in if you fear God and know that God, by the way, is going to punish you, and you mm -hmm. have to please God for Him to be able to give you wisdom, mm -hmm. all the other things you mm -hmm. need. Mm -hmm. And once you know that the secret is fearing God yes. and doing what he has said yeah. you're supposed to do yeah. that's how now you're going to be wise in every decision that you make mm. and even when it comes to even knowing the type of man you're going to have he's mm. going to guide you to the right man mm. and everything is going to work out so that is one secret i've come to learn over mm. time i wasn't like this i was mm. not a good girl <laughs> <laughs> but i thank god that he has yeah. able to he has been able to show me the way mm. and i've been able now to grow to where mm. i am so mm. if you're pregnant and you're watching this mm. don't give up yeah. because mm. things are going to work out and that child yeah. is going to bring so much blessings mm. to you mm. and you don't know if that's the only seed you have if you decide to true, abort it true, you know true, yeah. yeah yeah wow incredible mm. jason jackie i pray that every desire you have 
may be fulfilled Amen. far and beyond Thank your you. imagination. Mm. Okay. I, I, I pray for blessings upon your young family Thank and you. the lives you're touching in your ministry. Mm. Uh, Jason, thank you for setting a good example uh, of how young men really in this in the worldly mistakes they should c conduct themselves yeah. it's very personal to me because I'm raising boys mm. Mm. and I want my boys to grow up in a, in in a, in a you know that that it's not a bubble like with that mentality mm. do the right thing yeah. do what men are supposed to do mm. and at the same time for Jackie I'm, I'm glad that you're also lifting that weight uh, mm. with helping all these young uh, young girls who yeah. don't have any direction mm. so it's a pleasure thank you thank you for coming to the nest thank you for I having really us. appreciate yeah. you yeah. <laughs> great wonderful mm. guys so again it, this is the time I don't look forward because <laughs> <laughs> every time it gets juicier and juicier, mm. ah, the show has to wrap up. Anyway, I've been your host, Maureen White T2, and if you have a story that you can encourage people, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect, just rising from grass to grace or just being in there, but you're rising, please feel free to reach us on Y254 platforms and we shall be happy to host you. Until next time, happy Valentine's or happy month of love. Good night. <laughs>